Hi Beb, this is Ivy and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna show you what is online registration and update system or Aorus and how to set up the Aorus account online. If you are interested na malaman kung paano ito gawin, please keep watching until the end of this video. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, I invite you to please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell para updated ka sa mga bago kong video gaya nito. Without any further ado, let's get started. What is Online Registration and Update System or ORUS? Ang ORUS ay isang system na inulunsad ng Bureau of Internal Revenue or BIR na naglalayong makatulong at mapabuti ang pangkalahatang pangangasiwa ng buwis sa bansa. In this video, ipapakita ko sa inyo ang step-by-step -step process kung ano ang mga requirements at kung paano ma-access ang ORUS. Ano nga bang objectives ng ORUS? Specifically, ang ORUS ay nakafocus sa mga sumusunod na objectives. To allow taxpayer to fully register or update their registration data online anywhere and anytime and provide real-time access to their registration records. To provide online portal for both primary and secondary registration functions such as application for authority to print or ATP and registration of books or accounts. To provide an end-to-end -end registration portal including payment of fees through online and mobile payment facilities or through credit or debit card enabled transactions. Aorus will cater to individuals and non-individuals with the functionalities available to taxpayers as follows. Aorus account creation and login, TIN registration for individuals and non-individuals, transaction history view, payment through BIR e-payment channels, view and download functions for ATP and COR certificate, employer services link, and secondary registration like registration of books of account and ATP. Now, who are the users of Aorus? Ang Aorus ay isang sistema para sa lahat ng taxpayer individuals, businesses, tax agents, and BIR RDO users. Now, ang gagawin ko in this video ay pang non-individuals. First, Nagpa-update muna ako sa BIR at ito ang mga requirements. Two copies ng Registration Update Sheet S1905 nasa description box yung downloadable link nito. Government Valid ID or Birth Certificate ng Head of the Company or Signatory nyo. Kung may Representative, Government Valid ID at SPA or Board Resolution or Secretary Certificate. Maalin doon kung ano ang available. Dito sa Form S1905, ilagay ang employer TIN number, registered company name, make sure na same ito sa COR nyo. Input the birthday or incorporation date, input the active email address or company email, Take note lang Beb, only one email address per taxpayer can enroll in Aorus. And input the contact number. Input the company address. Next, proceed tayo dito sa authorized representative and input the details and input the complete name at papirmahan ito. If ever na complete na ang requirements mo, ipareceive mo lang ito sa RDO branch at bibigyan ka nila ng receiving copy mo with stamp na updated na ang records. Aside from that, may marireceive ka rin sa company email mo gaya nito na successfully updated na ang registration information. Now, pwede na tayong mag-create ng Aorus account for non-individuals. Go to BIR website. Sa drop-down menu, select Use BIR e-services.
Then, click Aorus. Next, select New Registration. Then, select the appropriate user type. This time, as a non-individual mo nang ituturo ko. Sa right side ng monitor nyo, makikita ang mga requirements na dapat nyong i-prepare gaya nito. Kung available na mga supporting documents, click Create an Account. Next, read and agree to the Terms of Services and User Agreement. After reading, tick box and click Agree. Now, whether you are a taxpayer or a tax agent. This time, habang ginagawa ko ito, hindi pa available ang para sa mga tax agent, kaya faded ba siya. Okay, Beb, proceed na tayo dito. Select with existing TIN. Kung ano ang mga details na nilagay mo sa Form S1905, yun po ang ilalagay nyo dito. Input the 9-digit ng TIN number. Input the registered name as registered sa COR nyo. Input the registered email address. Upon providing the email address, may magpa-pop up na message gaya nito. After reading, click I acknowledge. Next, input your assigned password. Ito ang guidelines para sa paggawa ng password. Next, i-enter muli ang ginawa mong password. And lastly, i-tick ang box para sa recaptcha, then click register. Account enrollment is required to be verified within 24 hours na pinadala via email dahil kapag hindi mo ito na-verify within that time period, magiging unsuccessful ang pag-create ng Oros account mo. Now, let's do the account verification. Once na nakareceive na kayo ng email na gaya nito, i-click mo lang itong naka-hyperlink na verify your account. There you go! You have successfully created an account. Now, let's do login kung working ng Oros account. Click OK. Input the credentials login. Tick box sa I'm not a robot. Then, click login. In my next video, ituturo ko naman sa inyo kung paano ang employer services link. So, I think that's it for this video. Sana nakatulong sa inyo and thank you so much sa wala niyong sawang pagsubaybay sa mga video ko. Please do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga video ko. Thank you and God bless everyone!